Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Welcome back in Unreal Engine 5.4. Now, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the new feature that was included in 5.4 Preview 1, which is the heterogeneous volume shadows. So pretty much, we are now going to be able to cast shadows when using heter heterogeneous volumes like VDBs or Niagara Fluids. Now, if you don't know how to set up a VDB in Unreal Engine 5, I made a tutorial on this. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. If you want to follow along and try this, the first thing you're going to want to do is enable this feature by going to Edit Project Settings and type in Heterogeneous or Hetero. And you're going to be check marking these three right here. It's going to then ask you to restart, so just go ahead and do that, and I'll close this out right now. Additionally, if you want to try this with a Niagara Fluid plugin, go ahead and edit plugins, type in Niagara, and you'll see it right here. Niagara Fluids, again, it's going to ask you to restart. All right, so now what I'm going to do is import some uh, VDBs that I downloaded from the marketplace. So let's create a new heterogeneous volume right here. Press G so I can see where that volume is. Go to my outliner here, just double click. It's hiding behind the car, which is okay. All right, and I will move that back a little bit. My mouse is kind of wonky when I'm recording, so I'm sorry about that. Next, I'm going to the materials. Now, since this is a pre-made VDB that I purchased, it's the materials are all set up, and all I have to do is pick an explosion that I want. I'm going to select explosion three, and I'm gonna say playing and looping. So here we go. We have our heterogeneous volume playing here in the back. I'll increase this to two. All right. And I'll move this just right behind our car here. All right, next what I will do is create a directional light. Now, as of right now, I am only able to get this working with a directional light. Let me know if you've been able to work this out with a spotlight or a rec light. But if I go here and add a directional light into our scene, all right, as you can see here, nothing is happening because we actually need to do one thing with that light. So I'll go to the outliner. I have that selected. I'll change this to movable. And in the directional light setting, I'll type in ray. And in the cast ray trace shadows, I actually have to disable that, right? So that's one of the things. Now this is again experimental, so that means that this is not final. But as you can see, by disabling cast ray trace shadows, we are now seeing that shadow from our heterogeneous volume explosion, which is actually pretty darn cool. All right, so I'm going to delete that. And again, we enabled the fluids plugin because I think it works with a fluid plugin now too. So if we go to FX Niagara system, and again, we um, enable this plugin. So we should be able to grab some 3D explosions in here, like this one, create. And I will just drag and drop that into the scene, maybe scale it up some. Cool. And in here, I'm just gonna click on cast shadows. And as you can see, we are now getting shadows from that Niagara fluid as well, which is pretty darn cool. So again, we'll just activate it for now. Look at those shadows. So with that being said, that's pretty much for this video. That is how you can get heterogeneous volume to cast shadows on your environment. Let me know what y'all think about this feature. And that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.